Hi, my name is Pat Webb. I'm an engineer at Agilent Technologies, and I'm here today to give you a short demonstration of our silicon vendor software. Let me tell you a little bit about what we have set up today here. Uh, first of all, we have the EXT wireless test set. I have an Altair USB dongle, and I have our silicon vendor software. And what we're going to do is run a complete calibration and verification of the Altair device <coughs> controlled by our silicon vendor software. Okay, before we get into the demo, let me tell you a little bit about what's required to have a non-signaling test set up. There are two things. Basically, you need to have software provided by the chipset vendor to control the chipset and to put the chip into, chipset into the proper test modes. Secondly, you need to have silicon vendor software, such as what we're demonstrating here today, to be able to control the EXT as well as synchronize that with the silicon software. Okay, there are two ways to operate our silicon vendor software. What I'll show you today is a command line interface, and that's useful for demonstration and also for debugging. The way that most customers will actually use this in their production flow is to use, make use of the APIs we provide and integrate those into their test executive. Okay, to set up the silicon vendor software, there are really three easy steps you need to follow. First, you need to set up the instrument, uh, which means setting up the EXT address, which I.O. ports you're going to use, which DUT band you're going to uh, test. In this case, we're testing an LTE band 7. And you also need to select the calibration items and the verification items. Uh, calibration items include uh, TX gain, uh, TX gain over frequency, RX gain, CAL, and RX gain over frequency. They're, these are typical verification items, including TX power, EVM, spectrum emissions mask, adjacent channel power, uh, receiver sensitivity, or RSSI, uh, and so forth. Okay, let me go ahead and start the test. Remember, this is a band 7 device. The first thing we're going to do is calibration, and we'll do a transmitter calibration at center frequency. Uh, we'll follow that with transmitter gain over several different frequencies, in this case, five frequencies. And then we'll go through receiver calibration at center frequency, receiver gain measurement to be specific. And we'll do a receiver gain also over five different frequencies. And as you can see, it's going through those steps now. What will happen next is we'll start verification test. And we will do verification over three different channels. Uh, first for transmitter. Uh, we'll do the power EVM, spectrum emissions mask, and adjacent channel power measurements. And as you can see, it's starting to run through those now. Uh, when that's complete, we'll do receiver verification. And remember, this, is, this device has a re diversity receiver, so we'll do two different receiver tests, or we'll test two different receivers, I should say. Uh, and while we're going through the receiver verification, we'll measure RSSI, PCI, and R, and packet error rate. And so we're going through those steps now. And you can see the results being displayed there for each of the tests. And as you can see, the device passed. And we show uh, each of the tests, the summary for each test, as well as the test time for each test. There's also a, a log file that's created if you want to look at more detail. So for example, you could look at the limits that we set for each test, as well as the specific value that we turn for each test. As you have seen, we have shown how to, we can use the EXT along with our silicon vendor software to do a full calibration and verification of an LTE device. For more information, please visit the URL shown. Thanks for watching.